Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to now take our IP lists now that we know that we need to have commas. Otherwise, it'll get munched together. And we're going to add that in. Keep in mind, you can have either individual um, quotes or double quotes in it. It only matters if you're formatting it in a certain way. Okay, um, They'll still pop up as strings. So if you were to do a type on each one of them, same thing will happen. Mm -hmm. If you do it in, in print statements, there may be, some, may be some issues with it. But what we're going to do here is we've now created two separate lists of IP addresses that are available to us. We're then going to go down and take a look at the commands that we've got for the IP list structure and what do we do with that. So if you go down, you can take a look at change string list to IP list. Yeah, so that's exactly what I did. All right, so if you go ahead and take this num list, copy that out. Num list? Yeah, so num list 3 equals, yeah, yeah, so it's so line 50 through line 54. Yep, yep, yep. So let's go ahead and populate that in our script here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to don't worry about this uh, for you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, comment out, or actually think I'll just get rid of everything so that we'll just see the things that we're working on right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a modification here. We'll call this IP list. I think I've got it as. IP LST C1 and C2. And so in this particular case, we've now taken each one of these lists and we've printed out this list 1 and list 2 and essentially we've combined them all. So now what we will have, we will have instances where we will know um, that this, in this particular case we've now created a much larger uh, element. Okay. There's another uh, built-in function that can be used and we will actually utilize it within our scripts. We'll introduce it here. It's called length, so ln. And if you put each one of the values in there, is that a dash ln? Uh, no, it's a space. No, it's uh, when you highlight it, it, it actually shows oh, some of those characters, and that's not that's not what you. And so if you take a look at the results, each one of those lists, which was four, uh, uh, four elements in length, has now been changed to eight by adding them together. Okay, So really the main point when we start talking about this concatenated operator is 
it's really powerful because it can allow you to put together a lot of um, different types of data. Once you've gone through those, it's going to be very, uh, very helpful.